Hi everyone, Hi, Prilly K. So today I thought I would do um, a tutorial, kind of like a tutorial, of me using my Enrapture heated rollers and show you how I put them in and what they look like, that kind of stuff. Because before I started to use them, I always thought that rollers weren't really for people with long hair. So I thought I'd just show you how I use them and like how I put them in. Just remember that um, I'm not a hairdresser, I'm not very good at putting the rollers in, I've only had them a couple of, um, like a few days now, so I'm just kind of playing around with them, but I thought that it might just be helpful for anyone who maybe gets some rollers for Christmas or something. So, um, the lighting is a bit dodgy today, it's typical December, um, and I'm really struggling to find places to put my tripod because, um, we're going back home for Christmas tomorrow, so it means that the, um, our bedroom is a complete and utter state because my boyfriend's clothes are just everywhere so I find it really hard so I'm um, just show you this is just my hair normally I've just washed and blow dried it I've done nothing to it it's quite straight naturally and it's quite flat at the top so I've got my Enrapture rollers here um, I would lift them up and show you but if you go to the blog post down below I've done a blog post and I wrote about them and there's all pictures on there so that'll probably be the easiest thing to do first things first I'm just knocking everything over. I'm going to section all my hair. I just find that doing sections just work a little bit easier. So the main bit I'm going to start off with first is this top section here so I get some root lift. So I'm just going to pop this to the side and then put all the rest of my hair in a ponytail. The reason why I'm doing this bit first is because um, I think the volume bit kind of needs the longest to set and I usually quite like a bit of volume so so I'm just gonna start off with this front bit here and the Enrapture Rollers kit have 10, um, 10 big ones and 10 like medium sized ones so the big ones are for volume Okay, so that's the first one in, so it is a bit of a mess, like I said, I'm not the world's best person at putting these in. And just with these bits here, I'm just going to slightly, very gently back comb them, it just gives them a little bit extra. So that's the um, the two top bits done. They look very dodgy and very uh, messy. So now it's just going to be doing these bits here. And I'm just going to take I'm going to take the medium ones for this bit because I think that um, and I find these bits much easier to curl up. I just kind of start from the middle and then pop it up because I just think that if I did the whole rolling from beginning to end with the length of my hair. It just, it wouldn't happen. Cool thing about these rollers is the fact that they heat up whilst they're in your hair. So they're not hot to touch, which is really good. They've got something called a duo heat technology. So that means that um, the combination of the roller, oh this bit is really annoying me. The combination of the roller, which has got a special coating, and the butterfly clip which holds them in has a special like metal plate they work together to heat it up now the last few times I've done this I've noticed that the curls haven't particularly lasted that long in my hair so I'm going to be doing smaller sections today so I don't know if maybe I was doing too big okay so that's the first bit, bit done so that's what the volume section as I like to call it and now I'm going to come on to the length and I'm just going to set now these bits um, they can't. I don't kind of clip them to my head I just tend to um, kind of let them fall a little bit because there's kind of nowhere to clip them to. I'm just going to use, use the bigger ones on this side because I want to definitely use the smaller ones on the next section.
Okay, and then on to the last section. Yep. Okay, so we're done. So everything is in a roll. So yes, I know I look really, really silly right now. Everything's like spitting out. Like I said before, I'm I'm not the world's greatest at putting rollers in, but this is just how I do it and how I get the effect. And um, yeah, like I know that you probably it should be a lot neater than this, but if this is just literally how I do it. You probably would be a lot, lot better at it than me. Um, so yeah, so I've got a mixture of the large and the medium ones in. So the medium ones are for slight like, tighter curls and the larger ones are for bigger waves and for volume so hopefully it should be a mixture of the both um, a little bit word of warning I've like just washed and blow dried my hair so my hair is quite soft and I find that sometimes when I've done it before when my hair has been quite soft um, the rollers have been quite tricky to put in because they kind of just fall back out again so do be careful it's probably it, like to be honest most um, styling tools work better on your hair if it's like a day old so um, that's like my little word of warning. So what we're going to do now, um, the next step is just wait till they go cool, which will probably take about 10 minutes, um, and then I'll be back to take them out. Hi everyone, so I'm back. Um, so the rollers have cooled down, so now it's time to take them out. And taking them out is a really, really simple process. You're just going to remove the clip, and then literally the roller just falls out. And there we go, there's the first one. Done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, stand up and show you. I'm going to hairspray them as soon as possible because my hair is quite long they just tend to need hairspraying as soon as you can. Ooh, that. Okay, so all the rollers are out, so I'm just going to first of all spray. Uh, spray to just make sure it holds. Have a bit of a comb, do a little bit of back combing. I'll just stand up for you again. So yeah, my hair's gone quite, quite curly, and it's it's quite bouncy. There's a mixture of like bouncy, big waves, I mean kind of um, softer ones, and then there's like a bit of volume at the top, which I think is quite impressive considering I only really back combed a real tiny amount. So just put loads and loads of hairspray on because um, my hair's quite long and it it needs doing. So the curls aren't really lasting too long. So yeah, that's just how I use them. It doesn't take really any time at all. It takes about 15 minutes probably in total. To heat up takes about 2 minutes. Um, so yeah, it hardly takes any time at all. 
this bit's a bit funny, it'll probably die down soon though. Um, so yeah, it's really good. So I hope this helps. If you haven't got heated rollers and you weren't quite sure how to use them or you're thinking about getting some heated rollers, definitely would recommend them for people with long hair and short hair too. I think they work even better on short hair. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye!